evening. I'm Mrs. Khan, and I will be reading a story called Bob the Snowman. And the author is Sylvia Larrington, and the illustrator is Jan Lanika. This is a well loved story in my family. And you can see because some of the pages have been taped because they've fallen out. Um, it's been read so many times. Um, it's about a snowman who wants to take a trip. He does take a trip, but not the trip that he planned. Look at the cover. And that's where he wants to go. Do you think snowmen should go there? I don't think so. Let's read to find out. It had been snowing all day and the children in the neighborhood were busy building a beautiful snowman. When they finished, they named him Bob. They put a broom in his hand and an old hat on his head. Bob was happy. He liked everything, especially the children who were having so much fun around him. When it got dark, the children went home. Bob was all lonely. Suddenly, a bird appeared. He sat on a tree and shook his wings. Brrr, he said, it's too cold here. I'm on my way south. All my friends have left already and I'm late. In the south, we will eat fruit off the trees and sing beautiful songs. Then he stretched his wings and flew off into the dark night. All night long, Bob thought about what the bird had told him. He dreamt about this beautiful faraway country. He imagined himself on the beach, standing under a palm tree with a snow woman at his side, listening to the bird's songs. With his broom, he would wave to the passing boats. He liked that idea. Suddenly, Bob decided to go south too. There's that bird. This is what Bob's imagining the South would look like. At dawn, Bob walked to the train station. He thought of the children and he felt sad. They would miss him. As he walked, he began to sweat. His carrot nose began to quiver and his hat slipped down on his head. The train was already waiting when Bob arrived at the station. He saw a lot of people getting on and off the train, but he didn't see any other snowmen. He's walking to the train station. And this is what he sees at the train station. Then a voice shouted, all aboard. So Bob climbed onto the luggage car and the door went. Shut. Inside was a dark and scary. Bob couldn't see anything. The only sound was the clackety clack of the wheels. Then Bob started getting warmer and warmer. He was sweating a lot. Bob became smaller and smaller. Suddenly his hat slipped off his head. Then he lost an eye. 
Then his carrot news. Bob was worried. He was getting so small that you could hardly see him. Oh my goodness. What's happening to Bob? They're going further and further south on the, on the train. What happens to Bob when he gets warmer? Mm. By the time the train arrived in the south, Bob had turned into a puddle. I think he melted. Oh dear, Bob thought, now that I'm a puddle, what will happen to me? Sunbeams called to him. Come on, climb up. So drop by drop, Bob climbed up to the sky where he turned into a soft white cloud. Then a strong wind blew Bob and the other clouds over the land. It was a wonderful flight, exactly above the children's neighborhood. Bob came to a rest as it grew colder. Bob turned into snowflakes. Hooray, it's snowing, cried the children. Let's build a new Bob. And they built a beautiful new snowman. Now Bob could laugh again. He was happy to be back and to be a snowman once more. He never wanted to travel again. The next morning, the children were very glad to see that Bob was still there and they built a whole new family for him. Only Bob knew that one day the Snow family would all become puddles again, but he was not sad. He knew that they would all climb into a cloud and wait for next winter. such a nice story. Um, did you realize that it kind of taught a science lesson about the water cycle? I hope you had a good night and try to stay warm and cozy. Good night.